Hi, Mikkel Henson. Thank you so much for being part of the Player's Voice for the Fourth World Congress of Sports Physical Therapy right here in Denmark. So we really appreciate your taking the time out and lending your voice to our conference. So thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank you. And, you know, what we're trying to do here is get from you uh, your point of view on your competition, on your playing, on injury risk, fatigue. And I know for you, one of the biggest, uh, one of, one of the biggest things that, uh, is, is important to you is the number of games kind of being played in handball. So what I would love to hear from you is, um, what do you feel the issue is around the number of games being played and how does that affect you, your teammates, the leagues in general? Oh, obviously, uh, I feel, uh, I think the gap between like the top teams around the different leagues, uh, I would say like the top five teams uh, and the rest of them uh, is, is, is too big. I mean, um, Often you see the top teams having uh, normally the best players, uh, and the best players play will always play with the national team too. Uh, in my case, for example, playing in Paris, uh, playing a place where we're uh, hunting like uh, national championship, uh, national national cups, uh, Champions League. Uh, also, like uh, with the national team of Denmark, I'm always in in the run of of like going far uh, in the tournaments and all these things. Uh, and it comes, of course, with a lot of pressure uh, physically and mentally. But I mean, like the gap from uh, playing, for example, in 2016, 81 games uh, compared to maybe a guy playing in like uh, uh, a lower bottom team in, in for example, France. The, 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 the gap is just too big from having like these, uh, the top players in handball kind of like playing really a lot of, lot of games. And then you have like the lower teams who kind of wants like more games. So right now we're kind of like in the middle of, I would say, figuring out to, to, uh, find like a system which works for everybody, uh, maybe to lower, to lower the games for the top teams and uh, to figure out a solution for maybe um, from, I would say, like uh, number six, seven uh, until the bottom to maybe get these guys involved a bit more because, of course, right now playing two, uh, two games a week uh, with the traveling and everything, uh, yeah, it's 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 maybe a bit too much. Also, like uh, with the new kind of system they have um, integrated in Champions League, which makes it makes it much more difficult in the group phase. Uh, you face uh, all of the good teams uh, before going to the knockout stages, um, which also makes uh, it's much more difficult uh, uh, physically, but also mentally. So, yeah, uh, it's it's pretty uh difficult uh it's 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 a strange thing to talk about all the time and the only thing just happened the last uh i would say 10 years is more and more games uh playing at a much higher level uh and uh, actually all of the players is 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 kind of asking for exactly the opposite but in the end of the day uh, we just play uh more games in Champions League. Uh, there was some talking about like getting one of the cups out of um, out of the season in France. Uh, not really. Uh, the kind of national federations like uh, the Euro, uh, EHF, IHF, uh, kind of not backing down, wanting like a European Championship every second year, World Championship every second year. So. There's kind of like no time to 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 rest, and especially like a season like, uh, for example, this one after the Olympic Games. It feels like you're 
you're doing two seasons in a row without any um, any uh, yeah any time for your body to like uh, regain uh, your physical strength and maybe work on on some of the things you weren't too happy about uh, in the season. Yeah, because I know that you had said summer is usually the time where you can rest and where you can work on things that you said maybe weren't so great during the season, but during an Olympic year that is is just not the case anymore so how do all of these games especially during olympic years but all of these games impact you and and your teammates especially you know like i had said before in in handball you are considered sort of the goat one of the greatest players of all time and so people are going to see you play you want to play you want to play against the best so how do you how do you play all of these games from a physical and a mental and emotional standpoint that must take its toll by the end of the season? Yeah, I mean, it's difficult. <laughs> it's difficult because in the end of the day, all of us wants to play. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, uh, uh, in the end of the day, all of us wants to, want, wants to be, uh, uh, be on the field uh, playing. Uh, as much as possible, but but as you as you mentioned, uh, a season like this, uh, you normally would see like especially with the good uh, with the big teams, uh, you wouldn't see as uh, stable like results and all these things. You would see a very up and 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 down season. I would call it. Uh, uh, there will be a lot of problems like f with fatigue, uh, injuries, uh, uh, mentally tired because of uh, obviously uh, the Olympics is a big thing for all of us. It's every fourth year you have the ch a chance to go there and represent your country uh, uh, between a lot of like other athletes and stuff. Uh, so of course, when you get the chance to go there, you never say no. And and I think that's kind of the problem for us guys. Uh, we don't know how to say no. And and um, it's like one big family uh, on your team in, in, in Paris. And here you kind of want to sacrifice everything for the guy next to you uh, all the time. So you kind of need somebody else to take the decision to kind of take mm -hmm. you out sometimes uh, when needed. And um, I feel like it's a problem that every time we kind of uh, demand to sit at the table when the different uh, federations they um, discuss these things, uh, they kind of don't like uh, involve us. Um, uh, especially regarding like the last couple of years, we've talked a lot about it. We've um, uh, tried to communicate like our opinion about um, more the more and more games, and also like uh, the level getting much higher uh, in general, uh, which makes it much tougher for everybody. Um, but in the end of the day, uh, uh, nobody is invited, and. Uh, and we're not rep getting represented in like uh, discussions about how everything is is going. Like, um, I would say, uh, yeah, it's it's. It, I think it's pretty frustrating. Like, as mm -hmm. a player, that uh, we've demanded uh, to be part of it like for some time now, and uh, still not like getting a seat inside. Uh, getting like one guy sitting there representing the players. Uh, Kind of letting her, our voice uh, getting heard, but um, I mean, probably, uh, hopefully, I would say, uh, spectators, uh, all of these uh, people around handball will hopefully see that it's it's a bit sad that you play European Championship without some of the place players because of fatigue, because of uh, injuries, because of all these things, uh, or me. As an athlete, I find it a bit sad that you don't compete against the best because some of the players are actually um, forced to say no to go because, uh, yeah, they're having problems uh, physically or, or mentally. And what do you hope 
for the future. What kind of, obviously having a bigger seat at the table kind of beat me to the punch. I was going to ask you that question, but you got ahead of it. But what do you see uh, in an ideal world for the player's health, mentally, physically, what would be ideal uh, for the future of handball? I mean, like, uh, obviously it's, it's too easy to say less games <laughs> because nobody kind of wants to uh, uh, back down. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, the national championships, uh, they want to keep it at the same level. Uh, the federations uh, for the national teams, uh, they, want, uh, they want more games too, all the time. Uh, so like, um, yeah, I mean, uh, figuring out how to like get maybe uh, the smaller teams involved a bit more and uh, and the bigger teams maybe lower down uh, um, uh, their kind of uh, how what would you call it like the activity uh, their schedule which is mm -hmm. uh, right now it's a bit crazy and especially after for example the Olympic uh, games uh, this year we have games coming all the time, uh, especially also with the situation we have right now with the pandemic, uh, the COVID, which uh, doesn't help uh, with uh, canceled games and all these things, which makes the schedule even crazier. Uh, so I mean, um, I mean, figure out like a more more stable, uh, stable like uh, platform, maybe even a new system to to kind of like uh, maybe take some games from the bigger teams uh, and uh, give some of the smaller teams some more games. I, me personally right now, I don't have the solution, which is also like, a, but one thing I know is like, it, I see a lot of younger guys being out of championships, uh, talking about being like uh, tired uh, mentally, physically when they're 22, 23, and that's way too early in my opinion. I mm -hmm. mean, um, I think there's way too many games and what people doesn't understand is not like, it's not only just, you just don't only go in there, play 60 minutes and then you just go home and I mean, like there's traveling, which uh, which uh, gives you a lot of fatigue. Like uh, uh, mentally, you need to be ready all the time, especially uh, uh, when 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 there's a lot of pressure. When you play in a big club, uh, everybody expects you to win every time, uh, which is also very tiring. Uh, so I mean, um, me personally, I don't have the answer about how you can lower down the number of games, uh, but it would be a start to get a, a seat at the table mm -hmm. and uh, feel like you're getting uh, hurt by these people because right now the, the feeling you have as a player is like that nobody is listening to you. And instead of like uh, kind of getting a foot inside, you <laughs> uh, they're locking the door in front of you. and in the end of the day, what what is the results? It's more games and uh, it's less rest. Yeah, yeah, and and you know, we all want to be heard, right? So there's nothing worse than being the player, being the the reason people come to see the games, and and not being heard. Um, one last question, and we'll wrap this up because we're at the World Congress of Sports Physical Therapy, sports physiotherapy, as an athlete. Uh, and and a, a patient every once in a while, but as an athlete, what what do you really want physiotherapists to know when it comes to working with folks like yourself at this elite level of play? I mean, like in in my opinion, it's it's so important uh, that you work very well as a group. I mean, um, I mean, from the physiotherapist to the physical trainer to even like the coach. Uh, being able to have confidence in each other and uh, respecting each other enough to like, uh, yeah, uh, uh, to let the physiotherapist do 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 uh, her his job uh, and and the other guys too. I mean, uh, 
in a lot of cases, uh, we as players need uh, grown grown up people to kind of help us take some of the decisions uh, because in the end of the day we want to play, and uh, therefore we need now and then, especially with the schedule, crazy schedule we're uh, going through, uh, we need people to kind of advise us uh, the best not to burn out in the season because obviously we we want to play at the highest level all the time and. Uh, if you're playing all these games, 60 minutes, uh, you wouldn't be able to do that. So uh, working uh, very individual uh, with with your physiotherapist, uh, with your physical trainer, and obviously also the coach uh, to kind of like spread out uh, the game time the, the best possible way. Excellent. Great advice. And I want to thank you so much for taking the time out and being part of the World Chronicles of Sports Physical Therapy. So thank you so much. My pleasure. Have a great time. Thank you.